think I can speak for everyone that we feel very blessed to have the opportunity to use our gifts for His glory. Um, so every year, about the beginning of August, I start sweating really badly. And it's not because of the summer heat, but it's because I start thinking, what am I going to do this year for the Christmas program? And I spent a lot of time just mulling over the different possibilities in my head. And uh, I kept coming back to the idea of inviting Michael back to play with us again. And, uh, you know, I think it must be the Holy Spirit matching you because, wow, it's, he's great. Just love it. Um, and for this last song that we're going to do, um, Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> this last song that we're going to do, I wanted to um, show off a side of Jason that you don't normally get to hear on a week to week basis. And so I started thinking, you know, the Jason that I know and love can absolutely rock the house on ACDC, Johnny Cash, John Mellencamp. And then I look over and I'm thinking about Michael, I'm like, what am I going to do with that combination? <laughs> So uh, I started thinking about it more and more, how am I going to make this work? And I thought, well, you know, I grew up on the Rolling Stones, and you know, if you're a Rolling Stones fan, you can't help but be a Chuck Berry fan. And so, I, as I'm thinking, I think, you know, what if Chuck Berry had been a Christian flute player? <laughs> well, if he had, maybe his little tale about Johnny B. Good might have been the story of a young aspiring musician climbing the mountain so that he could proclaim the light that he could tell people all over the world that God so loved the world that he sent his only son and that all who believe in him shall never perish but have everlasting life. Can I get an amen? Amen. Alright, so with no, with no further ado, let's rock. Just, but I hear the singers, but when I say good, tell 